Hello, Amar. Hello. Yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah, yeah sorry. Uh -huh. So we have, we have populated the unit of measurement in client data. And we have a X structure, right? Corresponding X structure. We have to mark that particular field as X in the X structure. So we are updating basic unit of measurement, right? Yes. So pass a BAP underscore true or X, simply X. Thanks. So we are we are indicating that we are creating basic unit of measurement in client data. We are not using any other fields. Okay. okay. So whenever you find this X structure, you have to pass uh, X value. What if whatever the fields you are updating or you are creating? Okay. okay. So we are done with unit of measurement. What is the what is the next one? Material text, right? Yes. So first we'll populate material text to a work area. Iphone. To go to that structure, what are the fields we have? Material description structure. So we have LANGU. What is LANGU? SPRAS language, right? Yes. So this is EN. EN. Or That's why since we logged in in EN, it will automatically populate the same. LS underscore MAKT hyphen material description. After here, all fields will be in some plain names. Okay. Hmm. This is coming from file, right? M A K T X Oops. append L T underscore M A K T. I have updated text in one language because I am maintaining only one one record in uh, file. Let's add one more language here manually. This is not coming from file. We'll just add okay one more language text. Mm. That is, uh, we'll add D. D means uh, German. In German language, populate some text manually, not from the file. Okay. Mm. And append. Similarly, you can append any number of uh, material texts, each, each text in a different language. Okay, now pass the importing parameters ls underscore header to ls underscore header ls underscore client to ls underscore client 
ls underscore client x to ls underscore client x. So we forgot to define the return parameter. We have to and uh, lt underscore makt internal lt underscore makt internal table to material description and we forgot to define the return structure BAPI return structure. Uh, go to exporting return structure to like BAPI return structure. to. So this is a work area like structure since it is defined in exporting parameter. Copy this map it to what are the fields available here? This is type. What are the types? Yes, sir. Success. E means error, W means warning, I means info, A means about. Based on this type, we need to handle the errors. Since it is a BAPI. If it is a RFC, we'll be having exceptions. We don't we don't have this return parameter. Okay. okay. Copy this. Pass this here. If, if it is a normal function module, we check like this S5 I1 sub R C equal to zero because it, it's going to return some exception. Okay. Exception number will be captured into sub R C. But here, if it is a BAPI, we need to handle the return parameter LS underscore RE return hyphen type equal to yes yes then yes. successful some message some message yes how we can use else simply use else or we can also use like e what is it? e means error to create Okay. No, it's not U O M. M E I N is right. Always remember when you are using work areas within the loop, always clear at the end. Because when the loop is running, right, every time a new record will be processed, right? Yes. So there, there should not be any previous values. Clear all this work area structures. Also clear MAKT internal table because every time we are populating new data. Also keep this out of the loop data declarations out of the loop i'm not sure whether it is going to work or not because when i created the material manually it did not create the data in mm01 there is an issue in this server okay we'll just try how it is going to work so this is how we populate BAPI structures it is same for any BAPI, you are, if you are creating a sales order data, if you are creating a purchase order data, the process is same. You have to identify what are the fields you have to populate, what are the structures you have to populate. Is it a work area like okay. structure or internal table like structure? If it is internal table like structure, you have to 
append data to that internal table and you have to pass that internal table here okay so why we use some plain names in the BAPI structures so um, uh, actually it is the third party that's why you need to understand is yeah some plain names we are using some easy to understandable names okay So this BAPI underscore PO underscore create one is used to create the purchase order. What is the transaction code to create the purchase order? Me 21. Hmm. 21 is to create, 22 is to change, 23 is to display. These are the same. Whatever the data you have to populate, populate here. What is the tables? Populate in the table uh, internal table. Uh, okay. Few item is the internal table like structure. Why? Because one one purchase order may contain multiple items, right? Depends on the material. Yes. It's same. So what is the type of the function module? Remote enabled function module. This can also contain a return structure. But but here it is not in uh, exporting parameter return structure. Go to tables. So the return structure is in tables now. What does that means? That means it may return uh, multiple messages. That's why we need to define it as internal table. Here for material battery we defined it as work area like structure. But here it is defined in return structure is defined in uh, tables. That's why we may return uh, multiple messages. That's why we need to use internal table here. Okay. okay, instead of uh, working okay. like structure, you have to define internal table like structure and pass it here in tables parameter. Okay. Now let's check how it is working. Close the file before uploading. So data correctly uploaded into internal table, right? How to upload Excel file data to internal table? How can you upload Excel file data into internal table? By using by using this function module text convert Excel S to SAP. Now I'm looping the data. I'm looping this data in records. It will, the loop will continue for three times. First, I'm populating the header data. Industry sector, material type, unit of measurement is populated. For X value, populated X. For MAKT, I'm populating two languages. Now we have two records here in MAKT structure. Okay. Now click on F6. Double click on the return parameter. Here sub RC equal to zero only every time because it won't handle the sub RC. Double click on the return parameter. Double click on the return parameter. What it is saying? It is a success or failure. Yeah, there is an error yeah. in the BAPI. Yeah. So what it is saying, enter the material number. It is expected material, material number. number. Okay. Oh. In debug mode, let's try to pass the material number to header data. We'll pass some material number. Click on F6 again. Click on F6. 
success. Hey. Was transferred without leading heroes. So it is saying the material number what we have entered is not containing any leading zeros. What is the length of the material? Eighteen, right? Pass the leading zeros. No, let's try. But there is some issue in the data. Just observe how it is going to work. What is saying? The field Mara M A T K L Bapi Bapi Mara material group is defined as a required field. Does not. Contain any entry. So what it is saying? It is saying material group is also required, but we are not maintaining the material group. So where we have material group? The material group is here. Let's populate some data, not some data, but some valid material. Go to value ranges. This is the master table. T zero twenty three is the master table for material groups. What is the text table for material groups? Go to text table. This is the text table for material groups. So let's find some valid material groups. We'll use some material group or we'll check it in the table. So we'll take 002 as material group. We'll hard code it. Instead of maintaining it in the file, we'll hard code it in the program. Next time we'll see. Okay. It is in the client data only. Material group. For X structure, pass uh, web underscore group. Now execute. Check the return parameter. Still error. Enter a. Okay. This is expecting a material number. Let's click right click. Go to statement and just pass some material number.
Click on F6. Hmm. Now observe. The material <laughs> has been created and yeah. extended. Let's check in MM01. Oh, yeah. no. no. Immediately, we have to write a BAPI transaction commit. Why it is again failed to create? Okay. So, we'll do one thing we'll maintain material number also in the file. I'm adding material number. Partner type. Partner. The file also I'll add. Uh, new new field. In the, this is the first field, right? Material number is the first field. So that I am using. Save and close it. Populate the material. Header. Matter. Check now. Fail to create. Okay, populating material also now. Oh, okay, okay. It is populating without leading zeros. So what we need to do? We need to write code like this. It is expecting leading zeros. So what is the type of uh, 
character 18 right so length is 18 mm -hmm. length is 18 we'll define yeah. one uh, variable with uh, it is not same for all scenarios for for this scenario it is expecting leading zeros that's why i'm uh, I'm using a data element num c18. What is the character? What what is the property of uh, number type? It will populate uh, empty zeros, right? If there is no value. So first we'll populate this material number to this, and then. This material number to this, then for the remaining space, it will uh, populate with zeros, leading zeros. So F5. So this material is not with the leading zeros. F5. Now it is added uh, empty zeros, uh, zeros to this um, material. And the populated same to the clear. Okay. So the material number is created. It's creating the material numbers. But one thing we forgot that is after calling the BAPI, what the BAPI will do? What BDC will do and what BAPI will do? BDC will call the stream processing and it will create the data. But BAPI, it will directly update the database tables, right? After validations. So, yes. what is the statement it is required after uh, uh, database statement? Commit work. Commit work. Okay. Call, we have a function mark that is. We have a function module called BAPI underscore transaction underscore commit. Just call that function module. Okay, you don't need to pass any reporting parameters. There is a parameter called weight. Weight. What is this weight? Sometimes we need to commit the change after waiting for two or three seconds. I'll I'll explain you in uh, I'll explain you that later. Just observe, call this function module BAPI transaction commit. Now run the program. So first material got created. Run the BAPI transaction commit. Second meter also created 8.3. And it will run the BAPI transaction commit. Third material completed. Go and check in uh, MM03. Just select basic data. Continue. So it is created, right? Mm -hmm. 
whatever the data we are using in file using BAPI, it is created. Eighty-three. Eighty-three also created. Okay. Copy this. Let's do one thing, copy this material. I'm logging in a new session. I'm using German login, German language. Continue. Go to MM03, enter the material number and click on continue. Same material, right? Yes. What is the text that is available here? German material. German material German text. Material. Based on our login, it is automatically changed. Changes. Okay. That's why we are populating multiple materials. Sorry, multiple languages. In MAKT. Is it clear? Yes. Actually, we need to write proper error handling here. Like to display all the materials, whatever created, you can use ALV report. To display the materials which are created. Okay. So the BAPI process is same for all the data. Wherever you are using BAPI, the process is same. But thing is, there will be small differences, client to client and project to project. Because here, material group is mandatory. And we are passing the material group in some projects that may not be mandatory. Right? In some projects, material number is not, not mandatory. You may need, you may not need it to pass the material number. It will automatically generate one material number. So there is small differences you have to keep in mind. But the process of using BAPI is same. Okay. Okay. So please read about BAPI PDC. So what is the difference between BAPI and BDC? What is the difference between BAPI and RFC? How to pass uh, importing and exporting parameters to the BAPI? Okay. okay. If you go to BAPI transaction code, BAPI. BAPI is the transaction code. You should be able to see all the BAPIs available in uh, system here. Accounting, finance, Treasury, cross application, let's business partners. This should be related to material management, logistics, check in logistics or uh, yeah, material, material management. So, all BAPI should be available here. Purchasing, purchase order create. This is purchase order create. See, for every BAPI, there will be create change display. Okay. Material group, material. In logistics, we have this material back. Double click on this. Go to documentation. Mm. 
what is there is no there, there should be the happy available somewhere here look see if you see this see if you see that uh bappy material availability is the So this is the BAPI for this availability. Similarly, there should be a, a BAPI for this uh, material creation also. Okay. So all the BAPI should be available here in BAPI transaction code. 